This is the Naked Cup Series Race. I'm your host, Alex King 99 The pole winner for this race is the number 29 car. He will lead the pack if, to the green flag. He is in first place for about half of the first lap until the number 2 car comes in and takes it away from him. The number 2 car makes a smooth and clean pass, but the number 2 car would also wouldn't hold that uh, first place position for long because by the help of the number 31 car, Ashley Prout makes it into first place. There you see the number 32 car of Carly Chase go by and the number 25 car. He's holding back the field and I suggest you should move out of the way. Further down on the track, caution 1 happens on lap 2. It seems that turns 1 and 2 is famous for accidents as you can see almost, again almost half the pack is involved and Carly Chase goes up and over, she almost goes under her roof. Let's check the uh, bat at the rear chase view of the number 29 car. There's the wreck but uh, he didn't make it out, he's going to go behind the wall. Let's take another view here. Uh, driver's seat of the number 61 car of Ashley Prout. She unfortunately didn't make it through the wreck either. Uh, there you see Carly Chase. I was back in the wheels, but she surprisingly she keeps going. On board the number 17 car of this accident. It's another view. There's the crash happening in front of him. Oh! Just missed the number 61 car I inches. I looked like he just clipped the number 61 car. I don't think he did though, but. Yeah, that was really close. There's an air aerial shot view of the wreck. Oh, the two cars that caused it this accident here. Well, looks like we're going to be looking up for some penalties for the number two car because an investigation, or actually a review of this replay is underway. On board of the number 32 car of this wreck. See, she didn't make it through. Obviously, and there she spins out, and there she goes for a wild ride back onto her wheels. Surprisingly, she keeps going, and she holds up for the rest of the race. With Ashley Prout out of the race, the 31 car takes a break and leads the pack on the restart. However, he can't hold it up for long because the number 77 car of Russell Stewart comes out of nowhere and would take the lead. Following the penalty of the 77 car of Russell Stewart back at Talladega, he's been he's been less aggressive in the race so far. And well, looks like he's going to be leading this lap. And well, I wouldn't say he's going to be catching up to the later because he has a lot of points to catch up with the number 31 car. Because the number 31 car only has a thousand points in this race. Hang on to the steering wheel because here's a fantastic save on the number 13 car and Carly Chase. They got together and they nearly caused an, another accident in turns 1 and 2. And here's a replay. The 13 car got a little loose and well, the 20 car saved the number 13 car from further incident. Carly chased the number 31 car, battling for first place, but because of the severe damage of the number 32 car, she can't hold up the battle and loses the battle for first place. Now the 77 car gets a little aggressive and shoves Carly Chase and nearly spins her out in turns 3 and 4, but she manages to, uh, again, do another save and avoid an accident. Uh oh. Carly Chase has had enough of the 31 car and spins the 31 car into the inside wall for no apparent reason. This will be reviewed and penalties are expected for the number 32 car of Carly Chase. End of the number 77 car of Russell Stewart at the Dega Cup Series race. 
Now, because I don't have uh, much time or any time to add up the points, I'm deciding to separate the race and the results video separately. So, while you're watching this, or if I have time, I will add up the points and I will post up the results page video up back onto YouTube. The Dega Junior Lake will be on hold because we don't have enough cars for 3 rounds, so signups are still going but we will put it on hold until further notice.